Hello and welcome to Moodle 2 Highlights. In this video, we're going to look at the new feature for conditional release of content within your course by date, time, grade, user information, or activity completion. Let's take a look at how this feature works. We need to first turn editing on and then you can release the entire topic or you can release specific resources or activities within a topic. If you want to release an entire topic, you click on the editing icon for the topic, which is the wheel or the gear icon. And then you open up the restrict access options and then set your conditions. If you want to release a specific item, for example, this folder of information, you click the edit menu and select edit settings. And then here you go down to the restrict access options and then set your conditions. So let's stay here and then take a look at these options. You can restrict by date and time. First of all, you need to enable the checkbox for whichever option you want to use. So supposing we want to allow access from a specific date, you enable allow access from and then you can open up the calendar picker and set the date. We'll have this open from the beginning of this week, August 18th from midnight. You can also set restrictions by grading condition. So from this menu, you would select the activity that you want to use as a condition. So for example, we have an instructional design strategies paper that students must submit. And let's say that they need to obtain a grade of 80% or better in order to access this content or this activity or resource. And you notice that you can add as many grade conditions as you need. So if there are other activities that you want to use as a restriction as well, you can set these options. You can also restrict by a user. And what does that mean? This means that you can release the content specifically to one person or more. So for instance, if you have a student that requires accommodations, here's how you can release the content only to that person. Open up the user field drop down and select email address. This is more unique than just first name or last name. And then set this to be equal to and then whatever the person's email address is. And this will ensure that only this person can see the item on the course page. You can also restrict by activity completion. And so if you want them to complete posting within a specific discussion forum before they continue on with the next activity, you would be able to select the forum and then say that should be marked complete before they continue. You also have the option of actually setting a condition of a pass or a fail grade or something that has not been completed so that you can cater to students that may be struggling with the content or not really making the grade so that you can give them extra help or extra resources and activities for them to bring up their grade. So you can use some of these other options as well. You can also set how you want the activity to be displayed while it is restricted. Do you want it to be hidden entirely so that they don't see it on the course page at all and then when the date arrives or the condition is met then it becomes visible? Or you can also let it show but it will be grayed out and then the restriction information will be displayed as a label. We will keep the student informed so let's set this as our option and we're going to save and return to course. So when you set your restriction information, it is displayed for the student to see. Let's log in as a student and see what this would look like. I'm turning editing off, and then I'm going to switch my role to student. And here you can see that that folder is not even visible at all. I hope you find this useful and thank you for watching. We will see you in the next highlight.